This is a video to explain how to manage chapter information in a movie file. If the way you encoded the movie file created chapters, such as using Handbrake, you'll see these listed in the chapter uh, chapters tag with the title and the duration. Now you can always go in and modify this by typing it in, but that would be a lot of work. So instead, let's see what we can do with our data sources. Let's say this is Cool Hand Luke. We find a tag chimp entry, so we select it. It does have all the chapter titles, but tag chimp does not keep chapter duration, so those stayed the same. So really the best source for chapter information is the Barnes & Noble website. Click the BNN button it takes you to the Barnes & Noble website searched on the one we're working with which is Cool Hand Luke. I select that one and you can see yes indeed it does have all the uh, chapters. The information needs to be the chapter number, the chapter title and optionally the chapter duration. So MetaX allows you to drag and drop this information in and it does have all the uh, chapter titles but it didn't modify the durations. That's because if you already have durations in the file then if you want to overwrite them with what's here if you hold the shift key down when you do the drag and drop now you see all the durations change to the appropriate numbers. But if there is an entry on the Barnes & Noble website the easiest way to do this, let's reset this information is to hold down the shift key while you click the Barnes & Noble button. Then it will look, finds that there are two entries for Cool Hand Luke. We've seen the first one is the one that we want. We select it and it automatically cuts and pastes that information for you. You have buttons at the bottom that let you reset back to where you started, delete a chapter, merge two chapters, split chapters, and if you split it it asks where you want the split to happen. So this gives you full control over the chapter information. Now one thing if you select a uh, entry that has a different number of chapters you will get a notification of that and you can decide whether to use the chapter information from that source or use what's in the file to begin with. And that's how you manage chapters. This video will describe some of the more common preferences you can set for MetaX. Preferences are selected by the toolbar and there are three separate tabs. On the general tab you can specify whether you want MetaX to automatically check for updates when it starts. You can specify how many days to go between checking. Uh, if you say zero it will check once every day. The descriptions uh, in a movie file, uh, Apple TV, iTunes, have maximum lengths for these. So if you like, MetaX will truncate the uh, descriptions to fit those and put an ellipsis at the end. You can select which country you want to use for Amazon, uh, which will then bring up Amazon results in that for that specific country. If you create uh, user uh, genres if you're not satisfied with the set that come with MetaX this will clear those out. On the file tab this is a very important one. When you open up a movie file that is not tagged for what type of file it is you can have it automatically be tagged as one of these or you can be prompted. Uh, this is important because knowing what kind of file it is, a TV show versus a movie, allows MetaX to get its information from the uh, appropriate data source. These control how MetaX will create uh, a copy of the file if you wish. Before you tag a file, you can save a copy in the recycle bin you can save a copy in a deleted subdirectory of whatever directory the file was in. You can take the tagged files and place them in a different directory than they're currently in and optionally delete the original file after the file is moved. 
you can also create the file name and the title based on tags so on movies you have two different options percent one is replaced by the title of the movie percent two is replaced by the year for TV shows you have a different set of uh, options one is the title two is the year but then three is the TV show name four is the season five is the episode uh, so this allows you to automatically generate a file name or a title based on that set of tags in data uh, you can link artist and cast that means whatever you put into the artist field on the first tab is also put in the cast field on the second tab you can also link episode to track you can automatically search for tag data that means as soon as you open a file up the search is instigated if you uh, run Meta X and iTunes on the same machine you can update uh, iTunes after you tag the file there's a companion program called Movie Library, which I would recommend you look at. That creates a database of all your movies, and MedX will automatically keep that synced. Uh, these uh, describe what you, what data sources you'd like to use. The three optional ones are TagChimp, the MovieDB, and the TVDB. Checking it will allow you to get data from those. TagChimp, you can also upload your tagged information and share that with TagChimp. To do that, you'd have to go to tagchimp.com and get an ID. If you use either uh, My Movies uh, and you have a separate directory where you keep the XML files created by My Movies, uh, you can put that here. Uh, MedX supports XML files both from My Movies and NFO files, which are another type of XML file. You can look in the help for that. If you'd like to put your log file on a different location than the default, you can specify that as well. The MovieDB and TVDB have information in various languages, so if you'd like to get that information in a language other than English, you can use this to select what language you'd like uh, the information in. When you set everything you like, you click OK, and everything is remembered from then on. So those are some of the more common preferences. Uh, I didn't cover all of them, but uh, they're all covered in the help file. This video will describe the various sources of help information for MetaX. Uh, the first place to look if you have a question is to click on the help button on the toolbar. Uh, it provides you with the current version you're running, a way to contact me. It uh, gives you a way to manually check for updates if you don't have the preference set to do this automatically. Uh, it allows you to register your copy of MetaX. Uh, MetaX does cost $9.95 to use. So if you want to use it, uh, you can go to the website, which is at the bottom here, and uh, click the Buy Now button, and you will get a registration username and registration code back via email that you enter via this link. Uh, there is an online forum if you want to search and see if someone's had the same problem or if you want to post something about a problem, plus there are all these videos. But the first place to go is the online help. It provides a lot of <coughs> information about how you enter information, the different data sources that are available, uh, how you can use uh, MedX to very simply tag uh, TV episodes. Uh, and about all the different features and all the different preferences. So if you have a question, this is definitely the first place to look. Uh, so this is just some of the uh, available help for the program. MetaX is a program that greatly simplifies the process of tagging your movie files with information that will allow them to display in uh, your media player, iTunes, Apple TV, Front Row. Uh, there are three sections of the main screen of MetaX. The Write queue, which are the files you're working on. The Search Results queue, which shows you information from the different sources such as Amazon.com, TagChimp, the MovieDB, the TVDB. Uh, and then the center area, which actually displays all the information separated into tabs. So to open a movie, 
uh, there's a normal file open dialog and you can also do a drag and drop into the right queue. Uh, you're asked what type of file it is. Selecting the right file here will allow MetaX to search the appropriate data sources. So we'll say this is a TV show. You'll see that there are no tags in the file. Uh, MetaX will take the file name and try and turn it into a title as well as a search uh, criteria. Because this particular file name has S and a number and E and a number, MetaX assumes that's the season number and episode number if it's a TV show. So now we're going to search for some information. We're going to say this is an episode of House. We enter that search term and we begin getting search results. Uh, if it has a TV in front of it, that's from the, the TVDB.com data source. A tag says it's from TagChimp and a little Amazon emblem says it's from Amazon. Now for TVDB to select this you have to have a season number and episode number selected so it knows which episode to get the information from. So when we click this you'll see it fills in all the information, shows you the episode ID, the network, everything that was available. There was no chapter information on the cover art. If you want to see that you can uh, expand that and make it bigger. Uh, you'll notice there's status at the bottom. Uh, you can double click this and it will bring up the status and you see there's some tag chimp uh, data problems there. There's a checkbox by every entry, every field and that's used for two things. If the box is not checked that field won't be written out to the file if it is checked it locks that so I can now change data entries and nothing changes because all these fields are locked but let's say I like most of the fields but not the short description I can uncheck just that one and then when I select a different entry I get information from there so you can mix and match the various uh, fields from different data sources. You'll also not notice next to search there's a little drop down for country in case you want to use a uh, different Amazon country site for just this one search. If you want to use it for all searches there's a preference and we'll go into that on the video on preferences. Once you have everything the way you like it, you've got all the checkbox checked, you click the right, it immediately writes everything out to the file. If we then go back and open that file again you'll see all the information is there. So that's just how easy it is to take your movie file and have it display professionally on your movie servers. Uh, we'll go into more detail on different videos on many of the other options that can make tagging your movies easy.